Hey, what's up guys? This is Steven from TechSteveHD.com, making technology easier. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up an Amazon Fire TV. So sit back and relax, and let's get started. So here's what comes in the box. You get a remote control, you get the batteries for it, you get a power brick to power it up, you get the Fire TV instruction book, and you get the Fire TV unit. So let's take a closer look at the Fire TV unit. As you can see, it's a pretty simple box, but on the back of it you have all the inputs and outputs on it. On the back side you have the power input jack right there, you have a HDMI output for sending over to a high definition TV, you have a fiber optic output and just in case you have an audio system and you want to get the best sound out of it. Here you have an ethernet port and you have a USB port good for gaming, firmware updates and miscellaneous. The remote control is pretty nice, feels good in the hand, easy to get to the batteries right there. And up here on the top it has a microphone for the voice command. Now this one didn't come with the Alexa voice uh, service but I'll go ahead and update it and see what it looks like once we get it set up. Get started is fairly easy. Once you plug the power cord into an outlet, you want to go ahead and plug that into the power supply there. Then you're going to take an HDMI cable and plug that right into the HDMI on the back. Now you see the light right there, it means that the fiber optic is ready to go. And again, if you don't have Wi-Fi, you want to go ahead and connect the Ethernet right there. To set up a remote is equally as easy. It comes with uh, triple A batteries from Amazon. You just plug those in in the arrow of the directions and go ahead and plug in the other side. Once you get those installed, go ahead and put the back on, like so. So now let's go to the TV. Okay, with the instructions on the TV set, you want to look for the same play pause button on your Amazon remote control. Let's go ahead and press that. The next thing it's doing is scanning for networks. So let me find my network, and as you can see, it does support 5 gigahertz as well. Use the arrow on the uh, remote control to select your Wi-Fi password. Go ahead and click on connect once you've put in your password. So now the unit's gonna check for updates. I've had this unit for a while, so it's gonna take a moment to update. All right, this is what it looks like when it finally turns back on. So let's uh, go ahead and go through the setup process. Once the unit is updated, you wanna go ahead and select your account. The cool thing about Amazon, if you actually buy it in your own name, it would already be pre-set up for you, but if not, then you can go ahead and create an account or register right here. Since I already have an account, let me go ahead and log in. So now it's registering your account with your uh, login. So let's see what we can see inside. Just this remote and the sound of your voice. It's really pretty cool. Let's get started. Now the next thing you have is where you can enable parent to controls without a PIN number. So in other words, if uh, your kids are in the house and they're looking to uh, buy things, you can control it here. So let's go ahead and keep that off for now. So once everything's set up, this is the home screen you get to. Right here you can play the Amazon uh, Setup TV Guide if you want to, just by pressing play. Now let's go down to the settings first. Now in the settings, first we have display and sounds. When you press on that, you can do screensaver right there. You can have it to automatically fit your display. You can have it to have Adobe Digital, and there's a way you can enable the screen mode. Now, from my understanding, you need to have an Android device and also make it discoverable, and then you can actually leave it on this particular scene, and then you can send it over to your, your screen. But I'm not going to get into that today. The next thing you have is parental control, and you can create a profile and parental control. You can also set up time limits, uh, subscribe to unlimited thousand videos for the kids. So it's a pretty good setup there. Over here is where you can set up controllers. So if you do get the gaming controller, you can set up here, or if you want to get additional remote controls or other Bluetooth devices, you can set them up right there. You have application here where it can collect data from you to uh, customize your experience. You have Alexa where you can turn it off and on. You have your app store, which you can automatically have it to update. You can get internal, external links, uh, in-app purchases, uh, and you can manage your subscription if you want to unsubscribe to something. On photos, you can set up 
where your photos come from. Gaming circles, that's basically uh, just like Apple or Android where you can have people who are playing common games to show their scores and their highlights. And here you can manage applications where you can go see all the different apps are installed and how much data, I mean, how much storage they can use. I like to also point out on applications that right now you have 4.77 uh, gigabytes available, but out of five gigs, the jack on the back of it, you can actually plug in external storage to store memory and stuff like that on there. The next thing is your system. And this is where you can have a sleep timer set up about the unit to know which kind of uh, uh, software is ins installed in it. You have your uh, network where you can change your, your Wi-Fi's, quiet time where you can hide all your application notifications, developers, and locations. And help is, is a setup guide so you can watch help videos, quick tutorials, uh, contact and feedback. And the final thing is accounts. So back up to the home screen, you have uh, your home here that basically shows you all the different uh, uh, movies and everything you've been doing just right here on the main screen here. But let's go down this list here on the side. If you notice it highlights in yellow so you can keep up with me. Your videos are basically uh, videos that you have on Prime that you've been watching and maybe things you subscribe to tells you the most popular, you can go there. TV shows the same thing and movies as well. Now, if you do buy movies or TV shows, they'll pop up in this list, uh, mainly at the top. Here you have games. You have libraries when you download uh, games into your unit. Uh, Spotlight, just basically showing you all the most popular ones, and you can see the list there. Here we have applications. So if you go over there, I have uh, HBO Now, but you can see your Spotlight. Your categories can be business, communication, customize, and education, financing. Let's just see what kind of apps are in here, for example. There's 77 apps right here under the food and drinks. And as you can see, there's a whole list of them. If you go over here to, let's say, fitness and health or health and fitness, you can see you have all your different uh, apps right there. And there's hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of different apps in here. Now let's go over here to your music. Now under music, you actually have Prime Music set up. So I do have Prime. You want to arrow over, hit continue. And then it'll bring in all your music, which you can play on demand right here. And then photos, if you have Amazon Photos application, then you can go in here and find uh, old photos that you actually had in your uh, system and new ones. So these are some of the photos I, I taken a while back that just remembered in the, in the software right there. Free time is a part of Amazon where it's really set up for kids. So if you go in here and get started, uh, everything inside of here is going to be like a safe zone. So you can create a pin number right there. Once you create the pin, then you can set up uh, a profile for the kids, uh, the genre, the age, so it can customize a profile for your children. Ever since I updated this unit, this remote control now supports the Alexa voice command. So let's go ahead and give it a try. I'm going to press and hold that down and you'll see the screen pop up. What's the weather like today? What's the weather like today? Now in San Diego. It's 62 degrees with intermittent clouds. Forecast has mostly clear skies with a low of... How tall is the tallest building in the world? Tallest building or building complex is height is 2,722 feet, 829.67 meters. When is the next Dallas Cowboys game? Cowboys will play this Sunday at 10 a.m. in Philadelphia against the Eagles. What movies are Samuel L. Jackson in? Once it pops up, then you can press OK to select one. And they'll show you the movies right there. Now this is available from Android and iPhone. So from the App Store, you want to download the Amazon Fire app. Hit the microphone, Amazon Fire. Once you find Amazon Fire TV remote, you click on that and you can go and uninstall that. Once you open it, then you're going to sign in and put in your Amazon account. Now it asks for the selected device. We're going to click on Fire TV. And there's a four digit code that popped up on the TV set.
So now the application is all set up for the Fire TV, you have the same controls as you would on a remote. As you see here, you have the back, the back, home, home. Everything is matched up except right here, you can use your finger to kind of get through some of the screens here. So there's my video on Amazon Fire TV. Now it's a really good unit. If you're part of the Amazon Prime uh, ecosystem, then you'll love this device. It's under $100. You can add a optional game controller and have a game system. And the cool thing is the voice command is not gonna interfere with any Echo or Amazon uh, products you have in your house. The reason is that you have to press this uh, button physically to get it to do something. If you'd like to buy one of these units, I left a link for you below in the description, or you can go to amazon.techstevehd.com and just type in keyword Amazon Fire TV. They have different kinds of them, but they really work the same way. So like on my videos, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.